Hi, Falcons. It's Mrs. Pagoni, and I'm here with your weekly tech tip. This month's focus is research, and this week I will help you to evaluate the information you encounter online by laterally reading. When you read laterally, you act like a fact checker to answer three questions about a website or a post. First, who's behind the information? Second, what's the evidence? And third, what do other sources say? These are the big questions that will help you decide whether you should use a website for your research paper or if you should share or even believe a post you encounter through social media, for example. Lateral reading looks like this. When you encounter a website or a post that you want to check, instead of staying in the site to determine its credibility, open new tabs to look for information about the source. When laterally reading, you open new tabs to answer those questions by doing keyword search, using fact-checking sites, utilizing Wikipedia, and doing reverse image searches, for example. Imagine you encounter this article on a website suggesting a dog exists with a tail on its face. Though it looks suspicious, the photo and the story went viral quickly. Lateral reading will help you decide if this information is fact or fake just by opening a few extra tabs. Let's start with a simple keyword search. This is exactly what it sounds like. Take the most important words from a site or a post and search for them in Google. If you don't find what you're looking for, vary the keywords. Scan the results of your search to look for URLs you recognize. Avoid blogs and personal sites you don't recognize. A search for narwhal puppy brings up millions of results. Look for recognizable sources like Time Magazine, the Smithsonian, or the New York Times to start. Once there, see what you can find out about a site or a post and any claims that they make. You can also use a fact-checking site to double-check the posts you see in your feed and the articles you encounter when doing research. Snopes, PolitiFact, FactCheck.org, The Washington Post Fact Checker, NPR Fact Check, and the BBC Fact Checker might have done some of the legwork for you. So head to a fact-checking site like this one and use your keywords to see if they have already checked on the question you're asking. Don't rely on just one fact-checking site, however. It's always a good idea to check too. By opening new tabs to laterally read, a keyword search and the use of a fact-checking site both confirmed that yes, the narwhal dog story is true. Okay, now let's imagine you see this photo of author Mark Twain holding some kind of glowing contraption while the inventor Nikola Tesla creeps in the background in your Twitter feed. Though the post has significant retweets and likes, lateral reading will help us know for sure if we should believe the photo is real and if we should share it. Wikipedia is another place to double-check info when laterally reading. While you can't cite Wikipedia as a source in your research, you can go to Wikipedia to familiarize yourself with a topic. Use the Control-F function to help you find a specific word or words in your search, like Tesla in the Twain article on Wikipedia. Once you find what you're looking for in a Wikipedia entry, Use the citations at the end of the Wikipedia article as potential sources for research. A reverse image search will also help you check an image's validity. When you encounter a questionable image like this one online and you want to make sure it's true before you share, repost, or use in a project, do a reverse image search. Right-click on the image on the website or the post and choose Search Google for Image. When you do so, Google will actually search for the JPEG on other sites that contain the image. Look for reputable, recognizable sources within the results to help you verify if the claim is true or not. Google will also look for visually similar images to help you decide if the image has actually been altered. By opening new tabs to laterally read, a Wikipedia search and a reverse image search both confirmed that yes, this picture of Mark Twain in Nikola Tesla's laboratory is real. I practice lateral reading to answer these three questions every single day. We all need to. It may be overwhelming at first, but the more you evaluate your sources, the better informed you will be. Use the tips like doing a keyword search, using a fact-checking site, double-checking with Wikipedia, and doing reverse image searches to determine the credibility of a source before you cite or share it. If you have questions about lateral reading or about anything technology related, please stop by the LLC to see Mrs. Pagoni, Mr. Drover, or Mr. James for help. 
And don't forget to subscribe to WN Student Tech Tips on YouTube today. Thanks, Falcons.